Okay, so we're gonna come up and start doing some of our measurements inside of our combiner boxes now. So we're gonna do our IV curve tracing and our insulation resistance testing. So I've come up and I've already turned off my disconnecting combiner boxes. First thing I wanna do is when I open that up, um, go ahead and you know, have all my safety gear on and we're gonna check for voltage and check for current to make sure that when we open fuses, things like that, we're not gonna be pulling any arcs. So I'm gonna go ahead and open it up. I'll check for voltage from the fuses to the, so the ungrounded current carrying conductor to the grounded current carrying conductor. And I'll check in various points here and so you can see, uh, make sure that we have the voltages we expect. Since the, all the modules are still connected to those fuse, individual fuses, we should see on the order of 500-ish volts. Um, so you go and you look at your plans, you'd see how many modules do you have in series, what's the rating of them, and just have an idea of what, what you're gonna expect to see. So I'm expecting about 500 volts inside, those, inside each one of those boxes. And then we'll check for current, make sure that we can open those fuse holders safely. Let me go ahead and check for my voltage. And I'm gonna check individual fuse holders, even though they're all commonly bussed together, just check them. So I'm gonna put my black lead on my grounded current carrying conductor and come across each individual string and getting 481 volts there. 481 and just going right down the line and verifying that we're there's nothing funny going on 481 got another one 481 and then check here as well so on the common bus bar so we're seeing 481 volts at all points from the ungrounded current carrying conductor to the grounded section so if I come over here, this is just bust over to the line side of my disconnect. So I'm gonna see 480, 480 volts there. And now if I check on my load side, depending on what's going on downstream, in this case, I'm seeing 800 millivolts. And so indicating to me that the disconnect is isolated from the, um, from the inverter and everything downstream. So now I verified that the voltage is where I expect it to be. So I'm gonna take my current meter and I just want to make sure that all of their, all of these conductors are dead, that they really aren't carrying um, any current. So because I'm going to have to lift some of these conductors, I'm going to have to open fuses and lift some of these conductors for the IRT testing, I want to make sure that I'm not going to pull any arcs with that. So I'm just going to go right down the line. And so I've taken my meter and I zero my, zero my uh, amp meter out and I'm just checking for current got zero amps there, zero amps there. And then again, remember the, the thing to do when you're checking individual strings is you need, to, you need to check them individually. You can't check the conductors in a group because of our DC current going opposite directions on the positive and negative. So we need to make sure that we're always just checking individual conductors, getting our current ratings, excuse me, verifying that we have no current on any of those conductors. So I've checked one, two, three, four, check a number five, and check number six as well. Not always the easiest thing getting in there. So we have zero amps DC on our six negatives. So I'm gonna check our six positives too while we're at it. So there's number one, zero amps. Got that second one, zero amps. Got this third one, zero amps these conductors out a little bit. Got zero amps there. Zero amps there. And my last one, which is of course the hardest one to get to, pull that guy out and get it clamped on. Zero amps there. So we've gone through verify that we don't have any current flow. We have voltage where we expect it to be. So now I can go ahead and start opening fuses and isolating the individual strings. So I'm gonna go ahead and open those up. So string one, string two, string three, string four, string five, and string six. So now we're completely isolated from the, the strings from the bus. And I can go ahead and lift my grounded current carrying conductor is I want to make sure I'm completely isolated from the inverter and then once we do that we can get our insulation resistance test set up and we can 
uh, make that test.